An analysis of the geometry of Zeta makes acceptable the hypothesis of advanced scientific knowledge in the antiquity. Under this framework, some non-conventional interpretations are possible. The first and most simple answers the question, why the Orion vest? What is so important in it? With some acceptable roundings of the numbers, we see that all the three stars are of magnitude 2 and their apparent luminosities are in the ratio 1, 1, 1. Their absolute luminosities are 20,000, 20,000, 60,000 times the Sun, and their ratio is 2 to 6. Finally, the distances, again with some rounding, are in the ratio 1, 1, 2. But the Egyptians represented them in perspective, apparent size, inverse of distance, and the ratio becomes 2 to 1. If we substitute the apparent luminosity with relativistic mass, we have 310, 310, 310 mega electron volt, ratio 1, 1, 1. If we substitute the real luminosity with rest mass, we have 2, 2, 6 mega electron volt, ratio 2 to 6. If you substitute the inverse of distance, perspective size, with electrical charge, we have two thirds, two thirds minus one third, ratio two to one apart from sine. There is enough to, to understand that the Orion belt is a good image in the sky of the two quarts of the proton. Says the Emerald Tablet, what is below is like what is above. What is above is like what is below, to accomplish the miracle of the one thing. The theory of Egyptian gods, or at least some of them, as elementary particles, is not new, and Osiris seemed to be the proton. The proton, like Osiris, is mortal, can be changed in other particles, and immortal, that is stable. Isis Sirius seems to be the electron, and in the sky is near to Orion, Osiris proton, to make the atom of hydrogen basis of the universe. Orion belt and Gisa are monuments to Osiris, to the proton, to the Trinity. This is the first interpretation, but despite some elegance, it is not the preferable because there is another one even better.